Well, you can zoom in on my smile, mate, because I've just hit fairway after fairway, and you know that's a, that's a bit of a rarity for me with driver. Bloody Nora. I'm impressed. Are your camera work? For golfers who want to hit the ball further, that's pretty much that, that, that covers the, the fair line. old marketplace. Yeah, standard line, uh, yeah, straight and fine fairways. Okay, tick tick, we all want that. But it's the first driver with the unique combination of high launch, low spin, and significant draw bias. Um, this new formula for distance that's designed to take the big miss out of your game without the detriment of losing ball speeds with the sort of flash face. Super strength titanium and obviously gel breaks in there as well. Now the question I've got for you is this kind of low spin high launching, yeah, it's uh, it's a unique combination. I believe that the way it's built inside of that club as well is what uh, contributes to those factors. So it's not something we're seeing here because there is weight down at the back end. Yeah, it's not, when you see the weight at the back end, it's you automatically it's assume, assume high launch, all about high, high spin, spin yeah. get it in the air, forgiving. But I think there's, there's uh, again, there's, there's elements that are built into within the club, and certainly again towards this draw bias. The shape thing for me is a kind of like, I don't mind it, but it's different. So I, always when something like that happens, you've got to get your head around it for someone who's used a traditional shape for a long while. I love the finish on the top. I think it looks stunning. I don't mind the bottom end in terms of the shelf uh, appeal. Um, the thingy's a bit flash for me, the uh, Superman head cover. But... I think from the shots of it so far, it does, again, what it says on the tin, it is, appears to be low spinning. Yeah. I've got a bit of a cut in me. I've been playing that cut shot for the last year or more, really, especially with driver. And it has it, have it nothing but bullet straight drives at the minute. There you go. I, and well, if, it was, well, if it wasn't low spin, I would find it out. Yeah, well, you, that's I mean, what I said on the previous drive. For you, you're yeah. the more interesting one. You do tend to put a spin on the drive. Your shaft is particularly geared towards taking that sort of uh, yeah. spin out but you haven't done that i've got this teed up a bit high i don't like these orange tees but i've lost my other one and when i say one that's all i've got holy moly Well, well, there's two things I would say is one, it did, it, we found the middle of the fairway, which is always a good thing. Um, it, I loved how it felt, which was the other interesting I'm thing. I'm glad and you said that. Yeah. It's almost unexpected. You expect uh, yeah, like you, a game improvement club, whether it be a driver or not, to feel, to sacrifice something. No, it felt superb. A little bit of a shock, that's the first shot. It's just come out the wrapper. You've hit uh, one with it. I've just hit, that's the very first shot. Let's just say impressed with it from that shot. Do you know what, mate? I'm, I'm just as... I think it's been a shock of the day. We've just come off the iron review. That's but easy. I'm pretty much struggling that to... easy, Mate, that. that was just smooth. It's the sound and feel again. Have a go at that. That looks easy. That's gone as well, Lou. Yeah. I don't need dry ball data to tell me that ball has just absolutely flown. Great ball flight. Again, what's interesting with this is um, it's a low spinning driver, high launching, low spin. I mean, it's that's a, that's an unusual combination. It's light. But what did that ball just do? It's light, isn't it? That, that well, just went bullet straight. It went bullet straight, but good ball flight, and you can tell low spin. That was moving again, and we mentioned it in the last thing. That was moving forward. That's not hovering, that's not spinny. Be interested how you get on with this, because you put a bit of spin on the driver. Oh, hello. Hello. 
I'll tell you what, for a shaft that doesn't suit you, that's done all right as well. What, is, is the man lost for words? What, or? Pr what, what price point does that sit at? This price point, list price. I never know what it's going to sell at, and that's the difficulty. So it's list, going to list. It's listed at four four nine, which I reckon will sell for three nine nine. Yeah, three nine nine club then, isn't it? That's quality, that. Performance wise, again, would it, would you pick it up off the shelf and go, oh yeah, probably not. Blue's a bit different. The difference is the but elongated it, crown. It goes yeah. back. Do you remember the fusion drive yeah, a few yeah, years ago? Yeah, yeah. They've had a few sort of triangular shaped yeah. sort of. Um, but oh my god! Well, the interesting uh, thing with this, like I said very briefly there, after you just played that shot, into I, the. Sun. I wasn't even looking forward to it, to be honest. Yeah, you've been very negative this morning towards this product. Yeah, yeah. You? I just think it just doesn't. It doesn't. It's got no shelf appeal for me. That and right. looks is per, per, people's opinion. You know. But it's not a drive I mean, you'd pick up, but again, no. you've just hit, so you're, you're, you're four drives in now. Yeah, and I think, that, yo, in its bracket, I can't believe that the weight of it, it's, it's almost like, you know, like the TS1, yeah. you know what I mean, the series of light. Yeah, yeah. A light it's shaft in it it's as well. It's amazing that how it can perform like that for someone like me. I mean, what have I, I probably swung that at a, you know, a sort of a rather, you know, 100 plus, let's say, yeah. mile an hour considering how early it is it's not bad and it's gonna it's it's my ball flight's not changed from my my driver which has yeah. got you know a completely different type of shaft completely different loft and it's cg forward low spin low launch yeah. type of head and that's done exactly the same i only wanted to put it back on lou we're in the middle of uh, also reviewing these uh, big bertha irons at the minute but the drive that i just did is probably i said to you there's too many things we catch off camera that when the audio's not on but what I said was, that's probably as long as a drive I've hit on here all season. That's how far the ball went. But the thing I followed it up by saying was, it also felt like half a swing. It felt like I did very little with it and the ball absolutely flew, which has been a bit of a thing with uh, these irons as well. Got a couple of products on their hands here at the minute. Callaway. That's like... That's, that's driver six iron par five green, I think. That's not bad, that, Lou. That's really good, yeah. I'll pick yours up. Right, Lou, we'll finish up on, uh, on the driver review on 17, which is, as you know, the ultimate test. If you can find a fairway on 17 at Conway with a driver, then it can go in the bag. I'm going to mention that to you a quick point. If you do find the fairway, you need to put it in the bag. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's a very much a positive. I want to just clear up something as well that uh, is often commented. If I say I need to buy these or this needs to go in the bag, it's obviously it's a seal of approval rather than an actual thing that might happen. So uh, people sometimes comment you could have many clubs in the bag, and you could right now, but uh, it's not necessarily uh, a message of intent, just a seal of approval, really. Right, shut up, and is this going in the bag? That's a seal of approval, by the way. Might just hang on to the right side. It's hung on to the right side. It's certainly not anti-slice because there's a bit of slice in there. There's a bit of left to right ball flight. Uh, it'd be interesting to know sort of how much it reduced that uh, slice by. It was. Uh, it's the shot I would play on this hole. It's done okay. It's performed okay. It wasn't my best shot with it to finish off, but I think overall my assessment I'll pass on to Lou to finish as well. And it is uh, very very good performing driver. And it's that category, that sort of low spin, high launch, forgiving ball speeds. Again, a lot of clubs are ticking a lot of boxes, so it's all about personal preference and it's all about um, getting custom fit. But they've thrown something in the mix that's a little bit different at least and uh, well worth, like I say, considering if you're going to get custom fit for a new driver. Right, Lou, so I said I'd swap over to you for uh, your last words. Maybe hit the ball first and then you can give me your, your assessment. Yep, Come. I'll go with that. Super drive. Bit of right to left shape on it. It's 
on a similar line to where mine was, but I had a better shape on it, turn it to the left. So go on, more right to left. Just go and give it a go. Cannot, for me, I, I don't, I'm not a big fan of it behind the ball. Um, not particularly, you know, for me it doesn't look great. The performance is ridiculous. It's, it's far, far better than I thought it was going to be. And actually, you know, ha being able to hit a lot of the other clubs in this kind of category, you know, you could say it was a game improvement type of driver, wouldn't you? Um, amazing. Like, could not be more positive about it. That's, Fair play. That's and, and, I, and I was, you know, for me to say that about something I don't like the look of and yeah. know, sort of definitely hasn't got the right shaft in, yeah. that's... I would definitely go and try it. I'm really looking forward I'm to it. I'm smiling behind the camera because the, yeah, words, the, the like... last words I remember were, I couldn't be more positive. And to be honest with you, in most reviews, you couldn't be, you struggle to be more negative. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I, did this, I struggle to be positive at this time in the morning, but I, I would dare. Uh... Believe me, Louis likes a driver. See you yeah. soon. Bye.